Let it all go, let it all go No submission, this is two five all Greatness or death, this is how we roll Before I'm late to rest, I'll conquer the globe 250 gym songs exchange So I give you guys great content And in exchange, you guys will like, comment, or subscribe Hopefully all three of the above Don't be afraid to share my videos Pass me around, pass me around Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms And y'all know how I feel about my chising if you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Mikey West. Also, check out my website, 250gemstones.com.co. Also, check out my Spotify podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Jada is now claiming that Tupac wanted to marry her while he was locked up in Rikers Island in 1995. Can y'all believe that? 1995, y'all. I got a quick video for y'all, and I'm going to give you my opinion when it's over. Let's go. Broken when I had to. So Tupac proposed to Jada Pinkett Smith while he was in prison. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and check this out. So Jada Pinkett made the claim during an interview with former NBA stars Matt Barnes and Stephen Jackson's All the Smoke podcast as part of the promotional run for her upcoming mm. memoir, Worthy, out October 17th. All for a book. When I wrote about that in the book and when I had to... Um talk about it, uh, speak my words for the audible version of the book. That was probably one of the more painful parts, seeing him there, the condition that he was in and having to leave him there. <clears throat> he was in bad shape. And you, so... He was in bad shape. You wanted to heal him too, like you healed August Alcina? All this for a book. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I'm about to buy this book. I, <laughs> I'm about to buy the book. It's just, I've been covering this story since it first started. Well, I'm talking about since the Chris Rock slap. Since the Chris Rock slap. This has been the most interesting thing on these internet streets. On these uh, audible book streets. <laughs> this is crazy. He asked me to get married. He was at Rikers. And I knew at that time that, A, he needed somebody to do time with him, mm. which I was going to do anyway. He didn't have to marry me to do time with him, right? Mm. I'm, I'm here. I see why we love you. <laughs> and then to, um, but he needed a rock. He needed, uh, because of our friendship and because of everything we had been through together, he just wanted to feel that solidified foundation, you know, because um, I promise you, he would have married me and divorced me as soon as he said <laughs> <left. laughs> <laughs> And I just think it was the mind state that he was in, you know, he, he wrote me this long letter. And even before Pac went to jail, he was starting to trend. He was starting to shift in a certain manner. Good or bad? Good. Really good. And I think that for him, he just felt like, okay, if I can tether myself, it'll keep me on a trajectory. But trust me, he would have he would have divorced me as soon as he <laughs> one thing he didn't want me as is a wife. Mm -hmm. I know that for a fact. Yeah. You know, but I think just being at Well at least she was honest. She said uh he didn't he wanted some he, I get what she's saying. Like, you know, they, he's the only person. At that time, they wanted Tupac going. The government was on his ass. Niggas from New York was on his ass. L.A. niggas was on his ass. Everybody was on his ass. So he got uh, falsely accused of all words. So he was looking for his best friend. I get it. I get it. At least she was honest. She said she, he would have divorced me. The last thing he wanted me as is a wife. Hey, girls, it just kind of shook him a bit. Needed, yeah, maybe needed something. Jada Pinkett Smith also opened up about not speaking to Tupac during the last year of his life due to a heated argument they had. I just felt like he was off track a little bit, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm, I spoke on that. Mm -hmm. And we got into a heated, probably one of the most heated arguments we've ever had. Pac and I getting into heated confrontations was not unusual, right? This was This happened to be a very heated one. Mm -hmm. Um, and I didn't speak to him for a year. I was hurt. 
I've never seen somebody so 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 self-absorbed, which I can know my opinion. Would y'all like to know my opinion? Of course you do, that's why your ass is here. Something wrong with you. She think that everybody wants her. She think that her uh uh the, the her son's friends want her. Well, that was true, but she thinks that Chris Rock want her. She think that Pox want her, the mailman want her, the pastor want her. She's one of these people that thinks she's a uh, God's gift to men. Thinks she's just the finest thing walking. Jada is pretty, even with that ant head she got on her shoulders. Even with that ant head she got on her shoulder, looking like a damn ice cube block with a blonde wig. I understand. I understand, Jada. Well, she got some cheek fillers. Her cheeks look bigger than normal. Start looking like that little Saw dog. The little the the little dog from Saw. Um, I don't know where this is coming from. She's well, I know she's trying to sell this book called Worthy, and she's gonna do any and everything to embarrass herself, embarrass her, uh the, the Smith family. I don't know how did it get this bad for Will. I don't know how did it get this bad for Jaden and Willow. Because Jada Smith has no problem throwing not only Will, but the whole family under that damn bus. She don't mind directing the bus driver. Hey, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Can you put it in reverse? And then put it in drive again. Make, make sure you crush up all Will's ribs. Make sure you crush up all of Jaden and Willow's uh, 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 knees. Crush up their thigh bones, all that. I need all that crushed up. Reverse, put it in motion. Jada is, has been on a, a tear and there's no stopping Jada. Jada is revealing things. Maybe that, you know, it could be for the public. It could It could not be. Talk about this memoir. Talk about, I want to know what's in this memoir because it's too juicy now. Not just what she's saying about the family, just her as a person. She's very interesting. She doesn't care about nobody but Jada. It is all about Jada. It's all about me right now. That's what she's telling the world. It's all about me right now. Damn you, Will. Damn you, kids. Fuck them kids, yo. Mama trying to get a bag. Mama trying to get her back blown out. Mama trying to do whatever she can to uh, run up these uh uh these checks. This these this literature these literature checks run up these uh. Visual check because she's on everybody's podcast talking about how depressed she is with Will Smith and her true love is Tupac a dead man and the daughter writing writing Tupac love letters hell Jada probably still writing Tupac love letters what the hell is going on but Jada just I think this is gonna be the number one seller she's pushing it hard because now people want to see how did. Will Smith go from the Fresh Prince to being reduced to being reduced to nothing, to rubbish, to debris. Will, Will, I have never thought in a million years that Will Smith, Big Willie style, will go out like this. To go out like this. She said, Tupac, everybody wants Jada. Everybody wants Jada. Jada said also in college, she's going through a phase when she was uh, kissing on girls, she she had a deep attraction towards women too. I gotta get this book. Flood my comments. Will y'all be getting this book? Will y'all spend y'all hard earned money to buy Jada Pickett's memoir, her new book called Worthy? 250. I'm gone.